Today we have the much requested Jerusalem DOS virus and this was one of the most widespread viruses during its time in the late 80s early 90s and it's known for its famous error message and deleting of files on Friday the 13th so when you go ahead and run it, it doesn't appear to do anything but if we change the date to Friday the 13th that should be Friday the 13th yeah, yeah. Right. if we run Jerusalem and then restart the virtual PC, it will begin deleting files instead of infecting them when they are run. So you see we boot up Jerusalem or the computer here and we run Jerusalem again. Alright, and now it's ready to start deleting files. So we'll try running the command interpreter command.com and it issues the error bad command or file name in which the word command is capitalized. Now in the normal DOS error message, as you can see the file has been deleted. So if we try running it again, it'll delete it again apparently, somehow. There, that's the original DOS error message. So you can see it's lowercase, bad commander file name. So if you see the capitalized version, you're probably already screwed, because Jerusalem has started deleting files. And if we change the DOS directory, we'll see the same effect. Do a dir here. So you can see computers experiencing slowdown. That was one of the symptoms of Jerusalem, was that the system would gradually begin to slow down. And it also has another payload that shifts part of the screen up a few lines, but that payload can take a random number of time from any number of minutes to a number of hours to activate, so I won't be showing you that one. But we try running vSafe, which is Microsoft's really crappy antivirus for DOS. It also gets deleted. Try running the command interpreter in here. Also gets deleted. Or it's just gone altogether. It's already been deleted, so if we try restarting, DOS will throw an error message that it cannot continue loading. As you can see, the command interpreter is missing, and now DOS can no longer function correctly. So, Jerusalem was incredibly widespread, sometimes damaging, and one of the most well-known viruses of the DOS era.